the high table. sit down. I don't want to remove the, the ladies. They are only few. I don't know why they are coming late. You're welcome, madam. Yeah, please, you're welcome. So, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe for the meantime, yeah, they are oh, her name is in, the, but in Portugal. The man of timber and caliber I have just called upon. Later on, to come and do a speed. Before, before that time, we have to stand up and say the national anthem that binds up you and me together. Please stand on your feet, everybody. Please, those of you outside, please come in. We are respecting our great country, Nigeria, and the ministers are here. We ought to give respect to them because they are our father and mother here in Lisbon. The Nigerian National Anthem on the count of two. One, two. Arise, O compatriots, Nigeria's call obey to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. The We have started well. 
and we will end up well in Jesus' name. Well, before we proceed, the man we are talking about him today is a very great man. Sometimes a, doc a doctor is not being recognized in his home until when we missed or when we need his service. I would like us to give to pay this great man of our generation a minute of silence by standing up for two minutes or one minute before I proceed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Well, for those of us who were not yet born when this man we are talking about was born, Ojuku was born on 4th of November, 1933. And he died in the year 2011. Like we all know, Sometimes, some of us that were not born died of his father. But because of his love for his nation, Nigeria, he decided to take a different uh, course against the will of his father. When he was in primary school, like I said, he was born in 1933, in Zimbabwe, in Northern Nigeria. So he has Northern affiliation. And he was loved by the Northerners. Then he grew up in Lagos. So he has Lagosian's relationship. And he was also well respected in Lagos. He attended one of the best primary schools and colleges in Nigeria. Among them were King's College in those days. Ojuku was one of the first Nigerian student to enroll in Oxford University. And uh, he was a very great man, very brilliant. After his education in UK, he came back to Nigeria. And uh, because of his dream and desire as a great person, he decided to enroll in the military. Also, causing disagreement between him and the father. But he said, I have my desire. And his desire is to serve his people. He was not a selfish servant of the nation. Oju was once the military commander northern Nigeria. And when he was a commander, he demonstrated his capability and strength as a loyal servant to the nation. When there was first attempted coup, he single-handedly ran those militaries down and that gave him an opportunity of promotion. In 1965 to 1966, he was then military uh, governor of Eastern Nigeria. In 1966, there was a conflict in the military. That conflict resulted into Nigerians losing so many prominent men, uh, men and women in the service, which affected the North, also affected the West, as well as the East and Southeast, and the rest of other parts of 
the country in Nigeria. Ojuku did not stop there. When he look at the system and process in the military and in the administration of Nigerian politics, he said no. That there are some people that are being sidelined and such people need to be taken care of. And because of that, he said no. Well, in 1966 to 1967, there was an argument, disagreement in the military which resulted into a conflict that took Nigeria 30 months of civil war. Today, that great man, that hero, has gone. We remember him. We mourn him. We appreciate him. The whole world appreciates him. Many people that know Ojuku know him for a man who stands by his word. Very honesty, sacrifice, readiness to serve at any given time. He was an exemplary man of our generation. After the Civil War in 1970, from 1967 to 1970, the war ended. General Yakubu Gowan declared Nigerian sovereignty and said, no victory, no vanquish. Well, the Civil War cost Ojuku. In order not to lose his life, he flew away from Nigeria. He went to exile in Africa. In 19, uh, during the, uh, this person's administration, let me hear the Shagari, the president granted him pardon and asked him to come back home. And he came back. What did he do? So many people were expecting him to come back again and declare Biafra, but he said, one Nigeria. So he joined MPN, later formed his political party. Today we embrace him, we love him. I pray that all of us as Nigerians will be prepared to make a Nigeria a greater place for all of us to live. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless Ndibo. God bless Ohaneza and people. God bless Portugal. You remain blessed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Give us a little tribute to Dean Chukwemeka, the Ben Mujubu, the President of the Ibo Community, Chief Osita Maswell Ozo Achosa. Please, can you handle the microphone? Yeah, the plus, plus, please, please, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I thank each and every one of you for your participation for the burial of this great man. As each year has almost spoken everything concerning this man. No much, but I have a little contribution to say concerning him, which I will brief you people in a very short period of time. Maybe you can always more than uh, five or ten minutes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me your ears. Today, my for our commemoration for the death of our 